practice this afternoon at Knights Park under coach uh, Buddy Rigo. They're taking on a team that is undefeated, and that's Greenville, a team that has not tasted defeat this year yet. Now, this team, Harding, has had several losses, but it's a story in itself. And when we come back later on in sports, we'll have more on this gritty bunch of Hardy. Uh... Two experience for Harding right here, right here, High, right but five of the Rams have been to the top in football. Harding made it all the way to the state 4A title game last fall before losing to Garner at Memorial Stadium in front of 18,000 people. One of the things that, that some of the people have been talking to us about is we're not veterans when it comes to tournament time. We're not seasoned people when it comes to tournament. And I beg the difference because a lot of these kids were football players, and they, they went through the pressure. They know what it's like to have to play one game at a time and have to win. And nobody knows that better than senior second baseman Ed Lawing, who was the football quarterback. Lawing says there's a reason Harding has been so successful, despite being one of the smallest 4A schools in the state. Well, uh, we play with heart a lot of times at Harding. We don't really have the, the uh, material to play, but we play with heart, and that, that's what wins a lot of ball games for us. Lawing's double play partner is shortstop Darren Hart, another football star who was taken recently in baseball's free agent draft by the San Diego Padres. Hart isn't looking ahead to turning pro, and he's not looking back either at the loss in the football playoffs. It's like this. Uh, we don't think about the bad times no more. It's, it's time to play for this now. We lost it in football, so it's baseball now. School in the state, Harding Rams, Played the 4A football championship. Now they're going back to the state baseball championship tomorrow. A best of three series. The seniors have seen the best of both ends of the spectrum for Coach Buddy Rigo, who says, guys, play within yourselves. How do you prepare them for something like this? Or do you? I mean, is there a secret to it? We, have, we do. And these kids, they can come all come tell you what we're going to do. We have popsicle parties. Right? <laughs> What's that? We, uh, <laughs> I buy popsicles for them. They look forward to that after practice. But one of the things that we talk about a great deal is that you don't get a chance to come this way often. Uh, we're not interested in tying ourselves up with winning and losing. We're more concerned of what we can do to be the best we can and what we do. <laughs> Indeed, the popsicle parties. We'll see how it starts tomorrow night. Best of three series with Mike. Their best arms after these two games today, so tomorrow's going to decide it, I guess. A long day of baseball for the Harding Rams, meeting previously unbeaten Greenville in the state 4A playoffs. After trailing 7-1 in the sixth inning, the Rams made a miraculous comeback in game one this afternoon to win in the eighth inning. On this clutch base hit from second sacker Eddie Lawing, the Rams win it 8-7, taking the first game in the best of three series. Now let's move on to tonight's game. And a lot more fans showed up to back those Harding Rams to try to win that state championship. All they had to do was win this game. But Tom Moy, the big guy for Greenville, who was the pitcher of record today in Greenville's loss in the afternoon game, clouds a two-run homer. That put Greenville on top five to nothing, and Harding once again had fallen behind. Could they pull off the miracle? Could they come back again like they had in the afternoon contest? Well, Harding would load the bases as you watch Buddy Rigo, the coach looking on, with no outs, but they couldn't score. Even on this pass ball, a great play by the catch back to the pitch and the throw out there at home plate, they could not score any runs. Harding does make another run at Greenville before the night was over. Darren Hart, a two-run shot, a home run over the left field fence, but it wouldn't be enough. Take a look at the score now from tonight's game. You see it. Harding winning this afternoon 8-7, losing tonight 6-4. The series tied 1-1, game three tomorrow at 2 p.m. at Knights Park. Take another great comeback because Greenville would score three in the first and eventually take a 6-0 lead into the fifth. That's when the Rams appeared ready to make their comeback, loading the bases with nobody out. But when Bobby Farr got thrown out trying to score on this wild pitch, the inning ended and the Rams had not scored. No doubt about this one in the sixth, though. A two-run homer by Darren Hart made it a 6-2 game. In the seventh, Greenville came up with two great defensive plays to open the inning. This one by Tim Moore in center robbed Ed Long of extra bases. Harding then put together three straight hits, scoring two runs and bringing the tying run to the plate. But Mike Ferguson flew out to right field to end it as Greenville wins it 6-4 to four and evens the series at a game apiece. At Knights Park, Gary Cole, WSOC, Channel 9 Sports. They will play tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock for the 4A title. And again, that'll be at night. Greenville game this afternoon. Yeah, yeah. great game. We'll talk about that in a minute. First of all, look. Ed Harding won the first game with an incredible rally. 
but Greenville Rose avenged their only loss of the season with a victory in Game 2. Charlie Frederick covered tonight's proceedings at Knights Park. In the first game, Harding trailed 7-1, to one, but the Rams scored three times in the sixth and three more in the seventh, tying the game on that perfect squeeze bunt by Jeff Bright. Bright's bunt forced the game into extra innings, and then in the eighth, Ed Lawing gave the Rams an 8-7 victory with a game-winning hit that scored Tracy Helms. In game two tonight, the Rams once again had to play catch-up ball as Greenville Rose scored three in the first inning. The big hit, a two-run triple by David Daniels. The Rams trailed 6-0 in the fifth. They loaded the bases with no outs but failed to score. The third out came when Bobby Farr was cut down at the plate trying to score on a wild pitch. Harding cut the deficit to 6-2 in the sixth on a long home run by shortstop Darren Hart. In the seventh, the Rams added two more runs and cut Greenville's lead to 6-4 on Jeff Wright's run-scoring single to right field. But Greenville pitcher Dallas McPherson finished the seventh without further damage for a 6-4 Rose victory and a of three series. Game three tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Charlie Frederick, WBTV Sports at Knight Park. Astro cramps led to the development of... ...and to win. They trailed 7-4 to four and then came back to win it. Let's take a look at some of those highlights. Ray Durham was the hitting hero for the Rams today. Durham's the designated hitter in the first inning. He lashed this triple into the gap in right field at Knights Park. That gave the Rams a 3-0 lead in the first inning. And it was a courageous job of pitching today by Scott Tate. He had a very sore arm after pitching yesterday. He came back with less than 24 hours rest. Got some great uh, fielding support here. Ed Long get, getting the force play at second and then gets another out in the rundown. Uh, Tate got the final out of the game on this strikeout, and it was celebration time for the Rams at Knights Park. They win it 11-8, Harding Rams State Baseball Champions, and we'll have further details coming up and some interviews for you during our sports at about 6.20. They made it to the state championship game in football before losing to Garner. Uh, Coach Buddy Rigo was the defensive coordinator on that team. He wanted very badly to win some kind of state championship for Harding, <laughs> And Rigo's Rams did it today as they defeated Greenville Rose. Congratulations to Coach Buddy Rigo and all the Harding Rams. The Rams came from behind again today in Game 3 of the State Championship Series, defeating Greenville Rose 11-8. to The Rams got a gutty pitching performance from Scott Tate, who came back despite a sore arm with less than 24 hours rest, and Tate won the Most Valuable Player Award. Looking at the highlights, you'll see the hitting hero of the game for Harding, Ray Durham, the designated hitter. He hits this triple into the gap in the first inning for a 3-0 Harding lead. But Rose, who has some big hitters, came right back. They got a grand slam home run from catcher Axel Smith, and Grable led it 7-4 after two innings. But then it was comeback time for the Rams. They used the bunt as uh, usual as a big weapon. Chris Ryan lays this one down. The throw goes wild at first base. And Bobby Farr scores. Again, Harding's big stick, Ray Durham. This ball hit to second base. Watch the great slide by Eddie Long. He is safe. Another run scores for the Rams. Later, Mike Ferguson hits one up the middle. Chris Ryan and Ray Durham score. Harding had six runs in the third inning to take a 10-7 lead. Coach Rigo then went to Scott Tate out of the bullpen today. He pitched eight innings yesterday. He came back with four shutout innings today to lock up the win. He gets some great uh, defensive support here. Ed Lawing making the force out at second. Then he runs down another runner for the double play. Coach Rigo worrying up to the final out, but he didn't need to. He gets it from Scott Tate, the big right-hander striking out the final batter, and then it was celebration time for Harding at Knights Park. It says a lot for these guys' courage. It says a lot for what they're made of. It says a lot for what they believe in, and it says a lot for heart. It brings a lot of recognition to a small school, not necessarily Harding, but just any small school that has to compete against bigger schools with a limited number of people. Um, I guess you could say it's like the David and Goliath type thing. I knew the guys behind me, and uh, just 
Sit up, loud prayers, loud prayers. What does it feel like to win a state championship? It feels great. It feels great. I'm tired. Um, it feels good. All right, Sharps. This summer, we're presenting the Choice Natural Diamond All-Stars. Only natural that our choice goes to the recent 4A state baseball champs. Of course, the Harding Rams, state 4A champs, the littlest 4A school in the state, scrapped and plugged their way to a championship. PC was at Harding to talk with Buddy Rigo's Rams. But I think one of the reasons that uh, they were so successful seniors this year that I went to them, I said, you're going to be required to do some teach down here this year. I'm going to make you not only play, but you got to help coach. And they responded well to that. A team full of prospects as well. A lot of guys talking to colleges. Yeah, when you get to the uh, level that we finished at, uh, the stock goes up. And a lot of people t have taken notice or didn't take notice before about some of these kids that can play. And they've realized that some of them can play. So they have a chance. Has it hit you yet, state champs? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I've had a lot of people call me, and I finally came down off my cloud. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm back to earth. Well, you got yourself one plaque, and I want to hand you a new one today. The Choice Natural Diamond All-Star Award from WBTV. Congratulations, guys! Yeah!